Now, if you commute on the Beltline through Madison, this is what may have slowed you down this morning. A city garbage truck engulfed in flames. One News 3 Now viewer sent us this video of it as they passed by that fire. Multiple agencies shut down multiple lanes of the Beltline when responding to that scene. But that's not an easy spot to battle those large flames. Arman Rahman has more on just what goes into responding to an emergency like that. Yeah, Eric and Charlotte, a truck on fire by itself poses many challenges and risks for firefighters. Now fill that truck with unknown junk and put it in the middle of a busy highway and crews now have way more hazards to dodge than just flames. Got the good stuff Here they come. This is a scary enough scene to drive past before you're almost a part of it. It looked like one of the tires exploded, allowing that fireball and those gases to, to come out and kind of envelop. But at the time, fire crews didn't know what blew up or if it would keep exploding. Garbage fires or garbage truck fires can be very challenging. We don't know if it's the contents or if contents are in there. From your aerosol cans, to uh, you know, smaller propane cylinders that people might uh, discard in their trash. But there's also the, the, the vehicle itself. There's a lot of sealed systems. While the person filming this was fine and drove away with little more than maybe his heart beating out of his chest, police and firefighters had to stop and divert busy traffic. They ended up positioning themselves to take a couple three lanes of the Beltline Highway so that A, that they could get a good position, uh, safety for them, just as I mentioned, but also so that they can uh, make an aggressive fire attack. But attacking the fire on a busy highway was also difficult. In that particular area, there are no fire hydrants. Mutual aid units from McFarland and Cottage Grove had to bring more water later. Lieutenant Brad Olson says the truck driver got out just before that boom, after people flagged him down and he felt that the truck was getting warm. Any driver would only have a very small window to act. There are times where you could be driving for a period of time where you don't know you have a, a, a fire until maybe it's, it's well involved. A very dangerous situation that luckily ended in just crazy video and a crazy story. It was impressive. Now, according to Madison fire officials, the truck driver told them that the AC unit had been having issues for the last couple of weeks and the truck had just left the shop that morning. In total, firefighters used roughly 3,000 gallons of water.